Now, they've been used by historians to solve riddles and by filmmaker James Cameron in the making of his Hollywood blockbuster. They're the last photographs taken on board the doomed Titanic and they've been re-released to mark the centenary of the liner sinking in 1912. Taken by Jesuit priest and photographer Father Frank Brown, the 80 photographs have been digitally remastered. Corkman and Jesuit priest Father Frank Brown was on board the Titanic for just 25 and a half hours. But on that maiden trip from Southampton to Cove, then Queenstown, using a new camera given to him by his uncle, the Bishop of Cloyne, he captured what would become the best photographs of the Titanic on record. Just before the Titanic sailed, Uncle Robert said, you need a new camera now to be taking snaps on the Titanic and gave him a very nice thing called a Plowbell Machina that took these pictures here. These extraordinary images, 80 of them in all, have now been digitally remastered and republished in a book to mark the 100th anniversary of its sinking next year. Well, the one that I'm standing in front of is one of my favourites. It shows you the anchor coming up for the very last time. I was never lowered again. And it's a very poignant picture, I think, not only for that reason, but also because it shows you the part of Titanic that actually hit the iceberg. As preparations get underway in Belfast and in Cove for next year's commemoration, these images and the stories of the people they capture form a vital part to the Titanic story. Each of those photographs tells a story. I mean, I could tell you a, a story about every one of these. For us to actually peep in at what was happening on board the ship before the disaster struck and have those pictures saved, it's just amazing. It's just a wonderful treasure and it came from an Irish priest. Jenny O'Sullivan, RTE News, Cove.